Hey guys, Peter here from McDonald Elementary. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own balloon-powered Lego hot rod. Um, so stay with us and let's get off to the races. First things first, we need to build our car. Um, based on several designs I looked at online um, and just my own creativity, I found that the fewer pieces you use, sometimes the better. Um, but there are a few key things that you need, including one long flat piece. Um, and at home, I'm using this because I don't know what everyone has, but if you have something more specialized for like building a car or something out of Legos, uh, feel free to go and use that. Um, but this is just, the, even something like this will work as long as it's long and flat. Um, first things first, we're gonna take a brick and we want to put it on the back just above where the axle is gonna be. So we'll build the rear axle, and I'm doing mine with bigger wheels on the back and uh, smaller wheels up front, kind of like a drag racer. Um, so you wanna be sure that the space is there so that the wheels aren't hitting anything up above them. Next, I'm making a little platform, uh, and this is gonna go on. See, there's just barely enough room for the wheels to spin. Um, and that's because we need to have a secure base to hold the balloon in place. So we'll come back to that part of the car um, next, I am using this as a cross piece. And again, uh, I'm just lucky with the set of Legos that I have, but if you have anything long and flat, um, I do it about this far away. Um, I think that may be about six bricks, six little uh, Lego knobs, if that's what they're called, away from the back of the car. Um, and this is gonna serve to hold our balloon in place as it deflates. So on top, I'm just gonna put little sort of guardrails. So these are little two by one bricks right there. And so the balloon, when it's inflated, a little happy birthday balloon, or as it deflates rather, will sit here and slowly come to rest right there. Um, now, just in case your balloon falls off to one side or the other, um, I like to add some sort of training wheels underneath this. So it's got sort of a dual purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip these in and put this one back here. Um, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. It'll still work without it. Uh, finally, the last piece, of course, for the frame or for the wheels is the front wheels. So it'll roll like this. And if it does tip over to the left or the right, the training wheels allow it to keep rolling. Maybe. So finally, the last thing, we're gonna set this aside because we need to hold the balloon in place. So we take a longer Lego brick. I'm using one that is six nodes long and I'm adding a little guardrail here, a little two by one. And another two by one on this side. And your balloon is gonna lay flat right in there like that. And I'm taking a smaller one. You can, any, any long piece, I just grabbed this one to sort of secure it in like that. And voila. Now, if you can imagine the balloon is inflated, it would go on the back of the car and I like to put it on the very back just because for my particular pieces, it's got the same number, it's got six on the back. So that'll provide the most secure connection. Now our Lego hot rod is ready to go. The last thing that we need to do is inflate our balloon and attach it to our Lego hot rod. So let's go ahead and inflate. Okay. Now it's a little tricky. I'm gonna pinch and maybe uh, an adult at home can help you with this. I'm gonna pinch it with my fingers like this and I'm gonna grab the other end with my ring finger and my thumb. My pinky can help hold it. Um, and I gently be very careful not to smush your Lego when you do this. Place it in between these two bricks so it's not sticking up over the side. And I put the securing piece up on top while the balloon is inflated. Now holding it in the back so no air comes out, go ahead and put it in position wherever you want and let it rip. All right guys, so you wanna inflate your balloon before you put it on your car, I found that if I tried to blow it up while the balloon was attached to the car, the whole thing sort of fell apart in my hands or uh, blew up in my face. So I'd rather that not happen to you. So we're gonna go ahead again and blow up our balloon. It's 
stretch it out. Again, don't be afraid to ask an adult for help and secure it to our car. And I have a happy birthday balloon, so in case it's someone's birthday, happy birthday. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.